Good evening, everyone. Yeah, you, you can't see me at all, can you? Uh, this is how dark it is over here at night where all my solar panels are. Uh, and uh, I guess there was a company that actually noticed that I might need some sort of uh, automatic light security in this area. So they contacted me and they, they brought me a uh, a solar powered motion sensing light. So uh, I'll be setting that up tomorrow and we'll see how everything looks after that light setup. Here is the package that I received from Cenoton. Uh, uh, it should be a solar powered floodlight to light up the area where all my solar panels are. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, on the packaging receipt, it does say uh, solar lights outdoor 181 LEDs, 1200 lumen, solar floodlights, outdoor motion sensor lights, IP65 waterproof solar security light. 1200 lumens should be plenty bright enough and it's uh, IP65 waterproof, so it should last a while whether it's sunny or raining, so we'll see. Here's what the box looks like. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what we got. All right, looks like we got some mounting screws. And here is the solar light. I noticed that uh, one of the uh, the little plastic, uh, you know, glass covers is missing off of this one. It makes me wonder if this was sent back to them, and then they sent it to me. But it looks like the lights can come out at any angle. It looks like it includes a little small instructional booklet as well. Looks like it has three modes of operation. The first mode is uh, the light will turn on when it senses motion and it will be bright for 15 seconds and then it will turn off. Uh, the second mode is when it senses motion, it will, the bright light will turn on and then it will go dim, but then the dim light will stay on. So the, the second mode, it seems like the dim, the, the dim light just stays on the whole time, but when it senses motion, it gets bright. And then the third mode is that the light will just stay on dim all night, no matter what. It, if it senses motion or not, it will just stay on dim mode. But I plan on using mode one where it, if it senses motion, it lights up real bright and stays on for 15 seconds. All right, it also says that the solar panel is a 1.5 watt solar panel with 21% efficiency. Uh, the battery inside is a lithium ion battery and it's 2200 milliamps. Uh, the weight is 372 grams, 181 LEDs, uh, which will produce 1200 lumens. It says the charging time is around 8 hours from 0 to 100%. And the lithium ion battery span life is 500 cycles. So it seems like this thing will last a couple years. And for the installation, all it says is please install the device uh, facing the south and make sure the solar panel can receive good sunlight directly without any shelter or cover. <laughs> so, uh, and it's saying facing south for, uh, you know, the northern hemisphere. Of course, if you're in Australia or something like that, uh, you'd be facing north. And what it looks like is it has just a couple of uh, mounting brackets built right into the to the solar panel so let's go outside and install it it's uh, I want to say it's like 10 a.m. so that should give me plenty of time for 
for this thing to get a lot of sun. And tonight, we'll, we'll try it out, see how bright it is. I'm hoping that I will be able to install it right up there in that corner. Um, the issue that I might have is that I have a gutter overhanging it. So I might have to figure out something about that. I don't know, maybe I might need to put like a, uh, a small piece of wood up there or, but I would like to just be able to put this straight up there. Cause then that way I could angle these lights, you know, I could angle this down and then that way it would shine, it would shine throughout this whole area right here. That's kind of what I, that's really what I want to do. So I'm actually thinking about just slapping it up there and seeing how much uh, energy I can get from this solar panel. I don't know if it's really going to be shaded that much. This, I am, this wall, this wall is facing south. So it should be getting a lot of sun because there's no trees, there's no nothing in the way except for that gutter. So I'll try to put it as low as possible. We'll see how it works from there. Look at that, my, my ladder goes over my solar panel perfectly. Oh, you couldn't ask for more. All right, what I'm gonna do to measure this out, I'm gonna get a little bit of painter's tape and I'm gonna put it right over here. And then I'll mark, I'll mark these two spots with like some, uh, like a, a Sharpie or something like that. And then I'll be able to pull this off and stick it up there and I'll know exactly where I need to drill my holes. All right, I got my two holes marked. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick it up there. All right, I'm gonna go uh, set this uh, set this up there to see how much shading I'm actually gonna get on the solar panel, and make sure that there's enough room on this back plate for it to screw into and be stable. Uh, well, unfortunately, after putting it up there, the gutter is going to completely block all of the sun from getting to the solar panel. So I'm going to have to grab a, uh, I'm going to grab a, a small piece of two by four. If I have a one by four, that eh, two by four, I'll grab a little piece of two by four uh, about this this length, and I'm going to screw that up there first. And that gives me that that bump out that I'm gonna, that I'm going to need. So let me grab that 2x4 and go ahead and screw it up there. Alright, I cut this uh, small piece of 2x4. That way it's going to fit. It's going to extend it out just a little bit like that. And if this works and everything, I'll go ahead and paint this all white so it kind of matches the house. But I think that's what we're going to go with, regardless of how much shade we get from the, gut from the gutter. There it is. Let's go ahead and angle it down. Move this one like that. That one like this. Take these plastics off. All right, and there's what it looks like from the ground. And hopefully it will shine light on all my panels. All right, well, uh, we are just about to go out and see if the light actually turns on and see how bright it is. So let's go. Ready? Here we go. Let's see if it turns on. Uh-oh. <laughs> and it's not turning on. So I guess I'm gonna have to get up there with a flashlight and find out why it's not turning on. Uh, 
All right, well, at least the light works, but now we got to figure out what mode we're on. Okay, so that's mode two. There's mode three. So that's off. I'm guessing that's mode one. So we're gonna go ahead and let it, we're gonna sit here for 15 seconds to see if it will shut off. All right, well, it shut off. So let's see if it'll turn back on. And there it is. So let's go ahead and wait for it to shut off and then uh, walk up to see how bright everything is. All right, I'm gonna start walking towards the light now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, as you can see that uh, this new solar light, it actually, um, It actually lights up this whole area very nicely and it does turn off after 15 seconds, which is nice. So it should be able to do that uh, all night with no problem. Um, some of the things that I like about it is that it is really bright and uh, it lights up, it lights up all of my panels, which are, which is really nice. Um, also the installation, installation was a breeze. Uh, as long as you are putting it, there we go. As long as you're putting it somewhere uh, that doesn't have a gutter underneath, uh, that little extra step was kind of a nuisance. But if you're just putting it somewhere where it's just the fascia and, and there's no gutter, it's perfect. If you do purchase this light, um, I would go into a closet uh, or somewhere very dark to test out the light first. Uh, get it in the proper mode that you would like and then permanently install it. With all that being said, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for Cenotone for uh, del delivering this light to us so we could uh, test it out. And if you like this video, uh, hit that like button. And if you wanna see more of my content, uh, please subscribe, it really helps out. Thank you so much and have a good night. Bye-bye.